Hi, this is David from Mad Tech UK, sorting the good from the mad. Today I'm doing an unboxing and a quick review of the Logitech MX Master wireless mouse. This is Logitech's premium mouse. Um, it offers things like a gesture button, which I'm curious as to see how well this works on Mac OS X, for example. Um, it's got dark field technology, allegedly should work on any surface. There's five buttons, you've got Bluetooth, and you've got micro USB recharge. In addition to the Bluetooth, you've also got the Logitech unifying receiver for anybody who hasn't got Bluetooth. You've got normal tracking of around 1000 DPI, configurable to a maximum of 1600 DPI. So this isn't gonna compete with the top end gaming mice and those would typically be wired as well. And in addition to that, there's an estimated 40 days of usage per charge. Right, let's take it out of the box, see what it's like. Yeah, let's have a close up look of this. Oh, very nice. Magnetized lid. Oh, we could just click that for a while. <laughs> Let's move on. Now, what have we got on the side here? So one thing to note about this particular mouse is the sculpted side here, very specifically for a right-handed user. Um, and you've got this sort of textured area to the side there. Um, you've got a smart scroll wheel. Uh, unique thumb wheel to the side here for side scrolling um, and additional gesture controls. Um, as I said, dual, con dual connectivity using the unifying receiver or Bluetooth. Um, version wise, Bluetooth Smart needs OS X 10.10 .10 or Windows 8 or newer. Um, but if you don't use the Bluetooth Smart, you can get away with Windows 7 or OS X 10.8. Nice little insert picture here showing the connectivity options. You can Bluetooth or Unifying Receiver connect to up to three different devices just here. That checks your connection. And you've got your switches and options just down here. So it looks like we've got the magnet just in there for the lid to close, give that a nice feel. Okay. There's our unifying receiver just in there. USB charge cable. And some instructions. But before I look at all of those pieces, the device itself. First thing I want to do, what I want to do here is just grip this and that feels really nice. What I like about this is the height of the mouse just here fits really nicely. I don't have um, super small hands and for my grip that feels just right. The buttons themselves are reasonably large just on top there. So I've got good access across my fingers. Oh, there's a fantastic scroll there. <clears throat> now the, the scroll wheel to the side doesn't spin in the same way. That's a more sort of controlled turn. You've got a button just to the side there. So one, two, three buttons four as you've got the scroll wheel button and then that fifth one to the side there and also you'll notice just along the side here this lovely sort of tessellated pattern uh, all these little sort of triangles weaving together creates a really lovely texture on the hand it just feels really natural um, and makes you sort of really feel where your fingers are on the device. There's a good weight to that as well. It's not too light, it's not too heavy, feels just right. Um, it does show up the fingerprints a little bit on top there, or it might just be that my hands are particularly hot at the moment. Um, that does feel lovely. Lovely sort of very sort of dark 
goldish effect to the side there, um, but fits very well with the general sort of black appearance of the mouse. Oh, I noticed on the, this side as well, there's a, a sort of slight mirroring of that um, triangular pattern that appears on the other side. And then obviously on the bottom here, we have our connection controls, on off switch, and start connection. And there's the dark field tracking laser. And on the top here, there is the micro USB connector for recharging the device. Yeah, that feels really good. Now prices vary for this. Um, Logitech are, have, I actually managed to get this for £47 using um, some discount codes recently, um, but some places charge as much as £81 for this. Um, interestingly, that, that can obviously come out more than the Apple Magic Mouse, for example, um, which on Mac OS X is, is going to be its obvious competitor here. Um, and I'm going to try it and see how well it fares. Um, personally, the, I find the Apple Magic Mouse very good, um, but I do find that it, it, its lack of um, ergonomics compared to this somewhat less natural in the hand, whereas that actually sits really well. Um, and I obviously do video editing and things like that, and I believe that this ability to side scroll with some sort of precision down here could be very useful for that. Next thing I'm going to do is hook this into the system, and you'll see how it's working on screen. Um, and we'll have a look at some of the advanced settings that are on offer. Um, but first impressions, very good. So I've now connected the Logitech MX Master Mouse to my machine. I'm running uh, the latest version of OS X and I've used the URL that's included in the manual to go to the setup guide. Setup was really easy, I've already connected it, I'm currently using the mouse. Um, you get guided through a web page, it shows you when to power the system on, what channel to select and how you want to connect. In this case I'm actually using Bluetooth, connecting directly to my MacBook Pro. Um, you can of course use the receiver that comes with it, but for the purposes of this demonstration I'm going to use Bluetooth. I'm connected on channel 1 and once it was set up I already had the Logitech options uh, software already installed. So that was already in my system preferences just here. And when that launches that's there. That's because I have two devices so I already have a Logitech K760 solar keyboard installed and as soon as this was connected as soon as the mouse was connected I saw it appear on the right hand side here. Now I've had a little dive into some of the options um, general mouse responsiveness absolutely superb working via Bluetooth there seems to be no conflict with the fact that I already have a Bluetooth keyboard installed the system's working quite happily. Um, I gave it a brief charge earlier and notice these little status LEDs just to the side here which actually show the charging status and when it reaches full battery. Now initially I thought there were only um, five buttons in total but I was slightly mistaken because on the left hand side where you've got this sort of nicely patterned area that's actually an entire button. So you click the entire thing and then move the mouse and you've got your gestures much like you do with an Apple trackpad or the Apple mouse. Um, I've tried it a few times. At first it seems slightly unnatural to click and then move in a particular direction but I think that's because this side button here at first I didn't even realize it was a button um, but it feels slightly weird to press it with your thumb downwards and then move the mouse. So it is possible to reassign the various buttons. Now in total you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buttons in fact. Um, obviously the, the click wheel itself is a button. Um, you've got this center button here, you've got your left and right mouse buttons, you have the gesture button and what I didn't realize at first was that there are actually two buttons next to the side scroll um, generally denoted for forward and back. Now you can customize the functionality of any of these any of these buttons. So if I press the middle one here for example, screen capture, and if I scroll through, I could actually make that the gesture button. 
Now, by default, the gesture uh, control uses Windows navigation. So you would hold the button, swipe upwards for mission control, down for app expose, left and right to switch between desktops. I personally prefer to customize that. So I have taken up to be launchpad, thus, and down to be mission control. Now that actually feels quite natural, quite easy to use. If I go back to my device setup, I'm now launching that from the middle button and I could instead change the side button to be screen capture for example. That's something I find quite useful to have readily available. Um, I would probably use screen capture maybe slightly less than the gesture options and the fact that I find the thumb control on the left slightly unnatural for that button means I'm quite happy to use it for my screen capture. It's something I'm going to use less often. Um, and then I will probably retain most of the other buttons as their default functionality. Now, general usage, I'm feeling very happy with. General responsiveness is good. Um, I love the design. I absolutely love the design. It really fits well in the hand, as I was finding during the unboxing. And I definitely, as, as I'm using it more and more, it certainly feels really natural, really easy to use. Luckily, of course, I'm right-handed. Now, the thing I think a lot of people are going to wonder is, is this a good replacement for the Apple Magic Mouse if you're an OS X user? I specifically bought this because I've used the Apple Magic Mouse whilst it's good for gestures and switching between the various different uh, gesture-enabled functionality of Mac OS X. For those of you not familiar with gestures, that's things like swiping, um, using the trackpad to pull up um, the apps list like that, swiping down so that you can do uh, so that you can see all of the windows at once. For that kind of thing, it's very useful. Um, as an alternative to the Apple Magic Mouse, I would say this is definitely the next best alternative. Um, you've got multiple control options here. The fact that you can do the gestures, and if you see as I go back into the menu option, there are plenty to choose from, and you can go through and really customize what it is you're interested in. Um, in fact, if you were really wanted to tailor this, if I go back to the option, you could use multiple buttons as gesture buttons and set different gestures depending on what it is you're looking at. Now, whilst that might sound quite complicated, I think the more you use it, the more used to those options you're going to become. Certainly, when I first got an Apple trackpad and I started to use the gestures there, at first it didn't seem natural. There's so many to choose from until I'd used it for a while. Now, of course, they're second nature. And I'd say exactly the same is true of this mouse. It's a different design. There's a lot of options, but I'm glad they're there. And I'm also choosing it simply because of its design. I think it feels more natural in the hand than the Apple Magic Mouse. It's got a nicer sort of feedback from the materials that are used. So my conclusion here is that you would definitely be mad to miss it. You can get this um, in some places for less cost than the Apple Magic Mouse, but I think the functionality that you've got is fantastic and it's a lovely design. For Windows users, you're gonna find a very similar level of functionality. You're certainly gonna be able to customize the control buttons here, um, and where necessary, you're gonna have a similar sort of level of gesture control, obviously dependent on the functionalities that you have available in your Windows operating system. So overall, I am very pleased with that. I've been David from MadTech UK. Thanks for watching.